Good morning all. Today we are going to discuss about what is principal plane and what is principal stress. So before that we will see what is different state of stress. So we know uniaxial stress, biaxial stress, triaxial stress. So uniaxial stress the stress acting only one direction maybe x direction or maybe y directions biaxial stress the stress acting at two directions x direction stress in x direction and stress in y direction similarly triaxial stresses the stresses acting at three different directions stresses in x direction stresses in y direction and stresses in z directions so consider this element a b c d it is Consider this plane element. So we know plane element is having a negligible thickness. Consider this plane element A, B, C, D which is subjected to distresses in X as well as Y directions. So it may be the stress may be tensile or compressive forces and these are called as normal stresses. And uh, consider this same plane element A, B, C, D subjected to only shear stresses that is shear forces. The two opposite and equal forces acting on a plane element that plane when acting on the plane element it tends to slide or shearing. So the sliding or shearing may be occur on the element. The shear or sliding in either clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. So consider this shear it is going to occur in clockwise direction and this is it is going to occur in anti-clockwise direction. So what is conclusion? So for case 1 a body or plane element may be subjected to only normal stresses that normal stresses may be tensile or compressive that plane element only subjected to normal loads that is normal stress and second case the plane or body subjected to only shear stress that is tangential stress it tends to slide or shear the body due to the two opposite and equal directions consider this case 3 the same plane element a b c d uh, subjected to combination of both x x direction y direction and also the tangential force this plane a b c d element subjected to both normal stresses and tangential stresses so what is the impact on it a body or a plane may be subjected to combination of normal and normal stress as well as tangential that is shear stress. So what is when a material is subjected to plane, plane stress system or different stress, stress in x direction, stress in y direction and also shear in two opposite directions. So the resulting stress and tangential stress on a plane varies through theta angle and variation continues as the stress element. So what is the resultant force? So consider this is stress acting in x direction that is normal stress and this is the element uh, I'm, I took I split off into this triangular element. So consider this uh, resultant uh, 
stress analysis. So what is the normal stress sigma x and tangential stress sigma t and what is the resultant stress. So resultant stress may be square root of normal stress plus normal stress square tangential square. So okay the resultant stress as normal and tangential stresses. And what is the angle of ambiguity? It is an angle made by resultant stress with normal stress. So from that we can calculate what is the theta that is tan pi equal to tangential stress divided by normal stress or tan inverse of tangential stress divided by normal stress. So what is the conclusion when a body or a plane element is subjected to combination of normal and tangential stress. Uh, we have to find out the resultant stress. What is the maximum resultant stress? And the magnitude of normal and tangential stress depends on the theta value. So for design purpose, we need maximum positive and negative values of normal stresses or maximum and minimum values of normal stresses. That is normal stress acting in a plane. Principal plane, a plane which carries only normal stress and no tangential stress that is shear stress is zero. A plane which carries only normal stress and no tangential stress is, which is called principal plane. Here there is a no shear force that is shear force is zero. And what is principal stress? The value or magnitude of stress may be maximum or minimum. The value or magnitude of stress acting on a principal plane is called as principal stress. In the major and minor principal stress. Major and minor principal stress and similarly major and minor principal plane. So what is major principal stress? The maximum normal stress acting on a principal plane is called as major principal stress and minimum normal stress acting on a plane, principal plane is called as minimum principal stress. And what is major and minimum that is major and minor principal plane? A plane which carries maximum normal stress is called as major principal plane. A plane which is carrying minor principal stress is called as minor principal plane. So what are the exa what are the practical ex example of principal plane and principal stress problem we can consider the thin plate under mid plane loads. The thin, thin plate subjected to mid plane loads and uh, free surface of the structural element and uh, another torsional and bending moment occurred in a bar element. So this is the mathematical expression derived from uh, actually I couldn't include that but uh, this is the final maximum um, minimum maximum minimum of normal stress that is principal stress mathematical expressions. Thank you for watching.